Hey guys, Apple has just released macOS Sequoia Developer Beta. So without wasting any time, today in this video, we're gonna be talking about its top features. So let's start. On the first number, we have this game-changing feature for Mac and which is that you can now mirror your iPhone to your Mac. Now you could always do screen mirroring before as well but this time when you are mirroring your iPhone to your Mac you can even control it right on the Mac. You can open apps right on your Mac without even opening your phone. You can also get iPhone notifications right on your Mac. And not just that, even the audio of iPhone will come from Mac. And apart from this, if you're using Final Cut Pro and if you want to share your exported video right on your iPhone, you can do that just by iPhone mirroring. However, this feature is not yet rolled out in macOS Sequoia Developer Beta, but you can still see the iPhone mirroring app in the dock. However, it's not opening yet. So we have to wait for a while to use this feature. Okay, on the second number, we have the window styling feature. Where basically, you can tile your windows by moving them around at the side end of the screen. And it will automatically resize so that you can see multiple windows in a single glance. And if you just tap and hold on the green icon, you can see these shortcuts as well. Where you can tile your windows horizontally or vertically. But keep in mind that as I'm using this feature, it's not as smooth as it was shown in the WWDC keynote. We've also got some cool FaceTime features as well. So now whenever you're on a FaceTime call with someone on your Mac, and if you just click on this FaceTime icon at the top, then you'll see this new presenter window where you can share what you really want to share without any distractions. And apart from this, at the bottom, you'll also see this background section where you can remove your background from your FaceTime calls. And once that's done, you can also change the color of the background after that. Alright, up next we have a new passwords app right on the Mac, where you can store all of your passwords and passcodes just at one place. And all of these passwords are synced up on all of your devices. Now we have also seen some Safari UI changes as well. As you can see, the preview tiles have been changed from the previous version in Safari. And it was also told in the keynote that on Mac OS Sequoia, Safari will be the fastest, even faster than Chrome. And there are a couple of new features as well in Safari like Highlights and Reader. So whenever you're reading an article, Highlights will show you any highlight of let's just say any music or any TV show or even the directions of a hotel that if you are looking for. And then there's reader feature which has also been redesigned completely which basically removes lots of distractions whenever you are reading an article. And it's my personal favorite feature. So when you are in the Safari browser and reading an article, just tap on this top icon right here and then again tap on reader and all of your cluttered ads will be gone. And now your article cluttered with ads is just clean and minimal looking. You can also change the font style and color of the page if you want to. Now apart from this, there's a small viewer feature in Safari as well. This feature lets you watch video in a full screen whenever you are reading an article and there's a video in it. And you can also make the video in the PIP mode whenever you click on it. So that way you can do other tasks on your Mac while watching that video. Now aside from this, this Mac OS has also gone pretty game hefty as well as they've become more game focused right now, especially with the M series chips. And that way you can play graphic intensive games right on your Mac in the future. Some of the examples are Assassin's Creed Shadows and Prince of Persia. That will be coming on the Mac soon. Now apart from this, there will be lots of Apple intelligence features as well integrated with all of the Mac OS apps, such as Mail, Safari, Notes app, Photos app, Messages app, and many other apps as well, with AI features such as Image Playground and Cleanup. But it's not yet out there, so we have to wait for these Apple intelligence features. But don't worry, whenever it will come, we'll definitely cover that as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And having said that, these were the top features that I found in the Mac OS Sequoia. Now do let me know in the comment section that what is your current favorite feature. And of course, if you have reached there, like this video, share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to iGeeks Vlog.